Okay, welcome back, YouTubers. And you get me here once again playing Watch Dogs Legion. Sorry about the game freezing, but uh, they've been doing that. Well, it's probably done a lot since I started playing this. Not sure if it's the console, if it's a bug with the game. Anywho, let's continue with the main storyline. And if I'll be honest, what what were we doing? Oh, that's right. Actually, I can't remember. <laughs> Ah, uh, Bloody Mary. Anywho, let's um, attend the bre team briefing. There's like a dozen or so of us right now. Maybe a bit more than a dozen. Mary Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapons smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stokovic, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This was a curse. Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Katie. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking. The Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Hmm. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Exactly. Your naivety got the better of you last time. How can we know it won't happen again? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office. An honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right. But however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've broken into this before. Oh, is this sandstone? Is this the same residence I'm thinking of? Might have actually been a different residence. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a Clan Kelly um, area. Huh. Restricted area. Clan Kelly restricted area. Uh, I forgot where I was going with this. Oh. Excuse me. I got a weird um, mouth yawn. You know how when people yawn, they're like, ah, uh, straight up and down. I have to put my jaw, my bottom jaw on an angle. Angling down to the right. Why? Because if I don't, my jaw starts locking up. 
And I do not like my jaw locking up. Ah. Right, so I put both my hands to where the joint meets the skull, the, um, the lower jaw meets the skull. I could actually feel. Mm. Security here is state of the art, quite impenetrable. Unless, of course, you flew a drone through the window, one of Mary's mouth breathers left open. Okay. Don't we have a drone master for something exactly like that? Thank you. I think I've only switched to it once before. But, oh, excuse me. Dead sex is a lot of potential in you. I trust you won't disappoint. Yes, oh, I guess I haven't I'm switched so to it before. The cause. Huh, I guess I haven't actually switched to it before. Because that wouldn't have happened if I did. How the hell am I supposed to get in here? Yeah, I'm not getting in there with a... Oh, I'll probably need to get a CTOS drone. Like that one, that one. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm always doing that. Oh, jeez. I am always doing that. Wait, what's my, um... Operatives about the things? I know about his security room too. I know where it is. Behind that room, it's behind that clock right there. That's it. Let's 
see what kind of recording we've got on her. Oh, of course, I um, came in through that way. Because I didn't see that way. Just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating. So we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC. And the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation. My team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team. Tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. The woman is a mind fucker. Oh, God. I'm sorry. You're lucky she didn't plant one of her microchips in you. But then, she probably knew you'd rather die than be her slave. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but it wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that. Oh. Surprised nobody's coming yet. Heck. Not much of a security room, more like a in place for me to keep shit. on my merchandise to I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. You won't. I can't believe like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to the venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing. Can be misinterpreted. get her hands on this kind of tech. It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. 
and it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. Clever. Despicable, but clever. The microchip lets her enslave them. If they step out of line, zap! Organ harvesting time. DedSec, we'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, DedSec. Jesus, that's one sick bitch. Clever, but still sick. Oh damn it, switched to the wrong one. Well, not really. I knew who I was switching to. Damn, that's one sick bitch. Hmm. Since we're waiting for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why did they frame DedSec for the bombings? Bagley, what have we got? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404, but instead of being in it, for the lulls, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sounds like anyone you know. All right, I've got some options then. I've marked both on your optic. Okay. Ah, come on, you fellas gonna shop you? Oh, they already have. Let's do, let's talk to Bagley first, for the Albion error, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Okay, I forgot the word was, oh, I can't, not only can I not remember the word I was looking for, also can't remember why I was looking for that word. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Yes, I thought about this too. If we want to stop them mercs from stepping all over us, we've got to take down their leader. So what's your plan? Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we can find and convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. Okay, I'm at the safe house. And now we can talk it through. Let's talk about 
Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Michael <laughs> Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. As if it wasn't dodgy enough. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name, Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the Niger Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. But Largie's name is the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report, intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellardi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellardi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Mm, cool. Let's go find the disgruntled ex-employee. With a legitimate axe to grind. Preferably in his back. Ugh. Okay, let's see how far we have to go. And uh, is it considered clear across the city if you have if you don't actually have to cross the water? Oh look, Horse One P is online. It's my brother's account. It also went under Fluffy Buffalo. Somebody deleted it. Because he didn't know which arm account, which email he had it under, he created it when he was still a teenager. He couldn't, um, you know, we knew it. At least I don't think he knew. Huh. Is there a website on which you can search camera tags? Huh. See, I'm not sure if Microsoft, um, Delete users who have been active, who have been inactive for years. There's a potential recruit you may want to check out. Pushing your location. Ah, we'll do it later. Hey, good, he expires in, expires in an hour, so we'll be fine. Shouldn't take us an hour to do this. Oh, is it going in the wrong direction? Okay, something screwy on my computer. Well, on the website that I got open on my computer, I read fiction, fan fiction a lot. So yeah, ah, people have been having problems on uploading chapters.
Yeah, big fan fiction fan. Started with one one half. Been snooping into Albion's affairs quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Shall we pop in for a quick hello? Not so fast. Hamis isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. That's paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Okay. Oh. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bagley, the windows. Think that's our way in? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. On it. Yeah, I know that. I'm just trying to figure out how to get to the... I'll be honest, I forgot about the cargo drone, but... Is there a cargo drone platform nearby? Ah, shit, where's the way to get... I look like I'm going to go all the way to the corner. Oh, here we go. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, why the hell did I jump into the water? Oh, that's the first time I've been in the water. No fooling either. And I go through all that trouble for just for this. Oh, I thought there was only one. Turns out these two. Breaking behind Jack. Ah, please to park here. Plenty of room there. Not sure about here. Okay, let's check in. Yeah, I really doubt the fellow will be hiding under his own actual name. Oh Quite shit! The interior decorator, isn't he? Look at all these traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. On it. Welcome to Clare and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Brings us...
Oh, wait. Huh. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Okay. Oh, well, he's on the other side, damn. Time for an infestation. Not a bad place to go, though. Have a apartment near water. No need to get excited. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Hardly. More like the exact opposite. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Please don't! We're here to warn you. Albion knows you're in London. You have to run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking need you, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. Oh, we know. Why the hell else would I be out here risking my neck? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is pain. That's how fucking mercs work. Oh, please. We're on the same side. Cass already tried to kill us once, and we know he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh, move! fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't shit. lying about that part. Fuck, <sighs> think, English, think. Shit, fine. The table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Come on, why the hell did I have to do that?
Come on. Quit crashing everywhere, damn it! Ah, oh, killed somebody there. Ah, oh, I think I killed another person. Are you saying you've driven onto the thing just for me, damn it? Oh man, I just pooped up some of the fun crap from my stomach. Return to HQ. Oh, God. This is pointless. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Oh boy. Chief, 
That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something. And I don't think I could stop him on my own. If Dead Sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems. With robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cyber security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Uh... Hmm. And how, pray tell, do you propose that we actually get into the Tower of London? I'd like to help, fam, but... Nigel's just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption? I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. Okay. Uh, how long this video be going for? 40 minutes? No, I want to see how the scenes. I was thinking of how to get out of the get off the vehicle. Good day. You lot certainly know how to pick your targets. You do know that Albion have set up their headquarters in there, right? Yes, I was conscious for the last six months. But Nigel Cass has a meeting plan to unveil his new project. Whatever ghastly thing he's up to, we have to stop it. Fucking Nigel Cass. You're right. Nothing good can come of this. Luckily, I hear loads of sob stories working in a pub. And near this place, quite a few from Albion are dissatisfied with the status quo. You turn on the charm, and I'm sure you can get one to join the good guys. Even got a candidate in mind. Isn't that interesting? Can you send me their personal info? I'll have Bagley push it along. Good luck, love. Hmm. She knows who Bagley is. operative on our roster. We should let them know they're needed. Currently recording, can I help you? Huh? God damn, Nala. Ah, oh, good. Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Hmm. Yes, I know about uniform taxis. I've been doing it before the tutorial popped up. Sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. And 
You're welcome for not killing you. Which way am I supposed to go in? I uh, probably would have been easier if I went in the background instead of front way. What the hell was that? Oh, you've definitely been here before. Haven't made me yet since the mask hasn't come on. I think that dog took a shit. Or farted. Oh, fuck, I hope it didn't take a shit in my, in, anywhere near me. Oh, God, that's bad. Seems no scads about him, more than most. Yeah, I was Albion too, if you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close ones. Looked up to him. <laughs> he was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for God's sake. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. Is he on the inside or the outside? Or is he on the inside looking out? I think he's on the inside looking out. I mean, it's obvious he's on the inside. You just can't tell if he's looking out or not. Everything is 
proceeding on schedule, and Mr. Cass is as determined as ever to make the White Tower as safe as possible from terrorist attacks. I believe he has ensured that every security measure has been properly taken so that we are all well as he likes to say. Okay, there's one follower over there looking that way. They better not be just a bunch of terrorists pretending to have morals. By the way, I think that's those followers on the ground floor. This door clearly requires a security pass. Fucking great. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Show me. Internal psych assessment AS001 subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close it's fine. Fuck me. Almost makes you pity him. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. He's a dickhead. Can't believe that's who's supposed to be secure in London. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Okay. Oh god, fuck you, scared shit out of me. Oh, thank God. Whew. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere. See everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley, or in a crowd of hundreds, with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you, with the launch of Project Themis, 
London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. No, it's all right. The commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. <gasps> it's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. I warned you about that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. Bagley, need an exit protocol. The catacombs, fam. Hmm. Took out the last one. Oh, sure, we're not going to get that again.
Oh, good. Find the suspect. Did I come in this way? I think I did. One way of putting it, another way is he's fucking crazy. I doubt a secret project run by a megalomaniac like him means anything good for London. This at all, man. What's this place? I'll be honest, part of me wishes they'll stop doing that. go down there in a sec. I'm relatively sure that's where we're supposed to be going. No, yeah, yeah, that's, that's definitely where we're supposed to be going. This is some sort of transition thing, a level transition, or do we get out this way, or we're going to have to swim to freedom. Oh, good. Fucking hell. Albion's top secret project is an automated killing machine, and it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch. We have to get Themis out of his hands. I'll prepare a briefing. Well, we see you there, Hamish. Pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Oh. That was interesting. Yep, very much so. So what I'm going to do is end the video here. And say, I hope you enjoyed the video. <coughs> I hope to see you in the next one.